Sorry about the wind, guys. Nothing I can do about it. We're here in Mountain Air, New Mexico. Feels pretty good. I could just stay right here. guys can hear me very good but this is really just an F-series Oshkosh military version is called a M911 I had a bunch of these as concrete trucks as they were F-A 2346s <clears throat> some of the best concrete trucks you could buy after I wore them out I'd sell them the loggers cut the mixer off, put a fifth wheel on the frame, and they'd use it to marshal their log trailers. And even before I had them as concrete trucks, when I worked for my dad, he had them. And we even had some that, where we had rail sidings to unload aggregate. We made custom wheels to where they were wider, and we put a uh, rail car coupler on the rear and set a piece of precast up on the frame much like how this winch is <clears throat> and that's how we'd pull our rail cars across the Grizzly to unload them so we might get unloaded today but anyway I've been to Oshkosh's factory several times Tell, this one's got a Detroit in it. I had a lot of them with 671 Detroits, and then I had quite a few with L10 Cummins, and even then, even one, our last newest one, which was a block truck, had a Cummins M11 in it. I'm not a Cummins fan. It's no secret. The best engine you can get is that Detroit right there. Two-cylinder Detroit. Excuse me, two cycle Detroit. Nothing better. <clears throat> Let me give him some guidance here. get a truck wash you can see it had a transfer case oil leak some diesel fuel leaking out on the frame rail of the trailer there we'll take care of that <clears throat> so this is where we are Mountain Air New Mexico there's four more of these coming behind me some cranes the guys are building 17 miles of high voltage transmission lines and uh, those guys pulled in right behind me setting up that office trailer but what this truck does is this winch is what pulls the high power line lines through the pulley system string it along put this truck on the scale before we loaded it, it drives because all the weight's concentrated right above the tires. So we put it on there and weighed 67,800. And 
they've been driving it to different job sites, but, uh, you know, that was quite a haul to be driving that. I don't even know that you can get it permitted. But that's it, guys. So, great trucks. I'm telling you the best concrete truck that you can get your hands on. Of course, this one's uh, seen better days, but uh, truly great trucks. So I'm going to hook up, get my paperwork signed. Looks like we possibly have a load taking us from here all the way back to Jacksonville. So if it's ready, we're going to grab it and get on the road. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, we just delivered. Um, we're headed back to Mountain Air because there's no cell service here. Uh, really pretty place here. as you can see very windy very windy here but we are just west of mountain air uh, we unloaded and one of the first pieces of equipment in there and they're going to be building high power lines transmission lines I think he said 17 miles of it. <clears throat> That's 5,280 feet per mile for those of you who math. It's a really pretty cool place though. Uh, we stayed last night in Las Vegas, New Mexico. And <clears throat> We were practically out of time when we got there. But it's been a good trip. We possibly have a load taking us from here, or not too far from here, right back to Jack's port at Blount Island. If it's ready, if it's not, we're not gonna wait for it. Uh, we have another backup load that we can get if we would if we want to but yeah other than that it's been a good trip trucks dirty again not really dirty but you know trailers got some trash on it and, uh, we got rained on a little bit not not too much uh, check out the train coming there that's a cool picture I don't know if you guys can see that BNSF, Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I guess that's what that stands for. Just trying to give you guys a little bit of driving footage of uh, this awesome scenery. So this is my first time to New Mexico. It makes me want to go elk hunting. Uh, I've got several friends that hunt out here. I've been invited many, many times, but I'm always working. I have too many people to keep up with. So that's where we're headed. We're going to get a load, head back uh, to Florida, check on our construction guys and see how that's going. Make sure they don't need anything. And they operate pretty well. I mean, they uh, they do well when I'm gone, but, you know, got to check on them. So that's it. We'll be back. 